How can Seattle's reputation for sustainability hold true when concrete and cars threaten the health of its nearshore ecosystems and create a barrier for human connection to the water? Seattle is poised to become a precedent-setting city as it reshapes its industrial waterfront by reconnecting Seattle residents and its visitors to nature, water, and each other. Seattle's native shoreline of mudflats and shallow intertidal waters were transformed to accommodate a growing port city. The Elliott Seawall was constructed to create a deep water port and a railroad corridor between 1916 and 1936. In the 1950s, the Alaskan Way Viaduct, a 2.2-mile double-decker freeway, separated the city from the water. The Alaskan Way Viaduct was later removed in 2019 due to seismic concerns and an aging and structurally unsound Elliott Bay Seawall was rebuilt as well. The City of Seattle collaborated with residents, local and regional tribes, and businesses and community organizations in developing a plan to reshape the waterfront. Priorities identified include supporting habitat health, addressing stormwater pollution, and developing ways to access and connect with the water. The Elliott Bay seawall destroyed crucial habitat for salmon and other native species, and over the years, habitat loss all along the shoreline has resulted in significant degradation of the ecosystem. Salmon are a keystone species crucial to healthy marine ecosystems and have played a crucial role in the culture and livelihood of indigenous communities and are important to Washington State's fishing industry and economy. In designing the new seawall, which has been called the largest eco-engineering project of its kind, developers attempted to improve the salmon habitat to boost chances for survival for young salmon as they migrate on their way to the ocean. The seawall features a bench in front of the wall to form the shallow water habitat salmon require. It also features shelves and crevices to support the growth of marine organisms. Additionally, glass blocks were installed in the walkway above to transmit light to help salmon find food. After construction, researchers noted an increase in vegetative growth, invertebrate species, and salmon feeding behaviors. The variety of prey species available to feed young salmon increased all along the seawall. Polluted stormwater also threatened Seattle's natural habitats. In addition to seawall improvements, more than four acres of upland planting will support aquatic habitat. The project will include new stormwater filtration infrastructure to catch water, filter pollutants, and replenish groundwater. The large-scale implementation of green stormwater infrastructure will reduce the amount of water needed for irrigation, reduce flooding risk from heavy rains, and prevent polluted runoff from damaging the Salish Sea and Puget Sound ecosystem. The GSI will filter 6.6 million gallons of stormwater each year. Biofiltration swales, bioretention cells, and subsurface wetlands will filter and retain stormwater runoff. The waterfront will have public spaces that reconnect communities of Seattle with visitors with Elliott Bay, including 20 acres of green space to reunite Seattle with its shoreline. Pier 62 was rebuilt, replacing an older toxic deck and pilings with ecologically friendly materials and will include a floating dock offering direct access to the water. The pier will provide a gathering place for community and cultural events. At the Habitat Beach at the south end of the park, people will be able to touch the Salish Sea for the first time in decades. Waterfront Park Seattle not only helps maintain Seattle's reputation for sustainability, but it shows how Seattle is working to revitalize itself into a more resilient and livable city for today and into the future.